What's going on guys? Welcome back to Patriot Specialized. Today's episode, <laughs> well, we, uh, you know, I thought it was probably the coolest way you could possibly load a tank, but unloading it, unloading it was even better yet. So stick around, we'll be right back. We ride across these plains and prairies, Rocky Mountain highs. Fade off into the distance like ghost riders in the sky. Black smoke and white line, steel horses side by side. It's more than just a living, y'all. Hell, it's our way of life. We're the last of the cowboys. All right, guys, so we took that tank home for the weekend, the uh, big plastic tank. We took it home for the weekend. Um, dropped the truck off the shop, got a couple things done, and ran up to. Stanford, Connecticut, <clears throat> got that thing delivered yesterday. That was a little bit tricky getting into. There was uh, there were some tight roads. That that permit route was it was tight. I had to at one point I had to get out and move, have a couple people move their cars so I could make the turn. But got it done. I got back in there, and these guys <laughs> these guys are like, uh, yeah, we're not 100 percent sure how we're gonna unload that thing. And I'm like, I know how. <laughs> ended up pushing this thing right off the tip. We put a forklift on the other side so it would catch it. Um, we didn't just roll it off like we've done on a couple other occasions where we just completely roll it off the trailer and let it hit the ground and go where it goes. Um, couldn't do that there. It was too, smite of a, too small of a location, but we did, uh, as you can see, it went pretty smooth. So no big deal. Uh, nice and easy. And we got that done. Ran down, spent the night in Harrisburg, uh, Pennsylvania. Got down and got loaded this morning. Turns out that we're, uh, we're picking up an AMPV out of York. Um, turns out this one's a little bit heavier than the other one, so we are currently sitting just inside of um, about one mile inside of uh, Virginia here on 81, waiting on a new Virginia permit because um, <clears throat> the one we ordered on the weight we knew um, was a little bit light because this unit's just a little bit different. So I'm going to take you out and show you that thing now. So be right back all right guys so as i said we um this one's just a little bit different than the one we loaded last week um the only difference really is it's a little bit heavier everything else it's got an air conditioning unit on it on a, and a couple other things so that um you can see right up there on top that normally isn't on these things and i'll show you that here in a minute but there's a big piece up on top it ended up weighing about it came in weighing about three thousand pounds more than the one last week we permitted for that turns out that uh this one's just a little bit heavier, playing with the axle weights a little bit. So we, I went ahead and I think I'm within tolerance on the permit I got, but I don't want to take the chance with this scale down here in Virginia. Uh, they're very tough. They're, um, they're not, not necessarily a tough scale, but they're tough on weights. Like they want to see your weight. As long as you're good, as long as you got a permit for the weight that you, uh, you are hauling, your axles are, they really don't bother you much. They just want to see your permit. So I just want to make sure that that's good. So we're sitting right here at this rest area waiting on a, waiting on a new Virginia permit. Should. I would imagine I'm going to have it in a half hour or so, I would think. Hopefully, we got about six hours to go. Normally, what I do here when I leave York in the morning is I try to get down to Knoxville. That puts me about three, three and a half hours out from delivery. And that's the goal is uh, it's to be about three hours away from delivery. Got some cool stuff coming up. So that's really what I'm hoping happens today. We're going to see what happens with this permit. But all in all, this thing, uh, we're coming in weighing at about 68,000 pounds versus the the normal 63, 64, 65, somewhere in that neighborhood. So I'll take you back, show you that the difference between the last week's and this week. So the only real difference here, the unit is exactly the same except for that box up there on top. That's an air conditioning unit. That is not normally there or not on the, on the other one. 
So that's the only difference between these two units. This one has that, and it weighs about 3,000 pounds extra. What we did for securement, on, as I said, we got 68,000 pounds on. What we did for securement on this thing is half inch chains rated at 11,300. Well, going all the way across on both of these, get full credit for both of those. So there's 22,000 pounds of securement right there. As we all know, at 68,000, how much securement do you need? Thirty-four. 34,000 pounds worth of securement. We've got 22,000 pounds up front. In the back, we did the same exact thing. Went right through, straight across both sets of chains. So we get another 22,000 pounds on securement on this one. So we, we, are, we got 20, 22,000 pounds on both ends holding this thing in. So we have 44,000 pounds of securement holding in what requires 34,000. So we're in great shape there. Got our flags and signs on, as you can see. Magnetic flag back here, bungee flag up there. Positioned it, pushed it all the way to the back because we're running all four axles down. So I wanted more weight back here on the four axles than up there on the three. So we, uh, we're running all four axles down on the ground this time. Running off all eight on this deal. Got our oversized stuff on the back. Looking pretty good. All right, so the couple interesting things we got coming up. We're gonna get this one delivered in Aniston at the Army Depot, and then they have a, a unit that's similar to this one sitting at the, um, the depot there. It's gotta go over about 12 miles to their other facility. And um, we're gonna, once we get this one delivered, we're gonna snatch that one up, run it over that 12 miles. Then I got a excavator booked out of, uh, I believe it's Braxton for Claxton, over out of Georgia, Claxton, Georgia, going up to Ontario. We're gonna pick that thing up, probably, it looks like by the time I get that other unit moved and then get over there to get picked up. Well, I'm not gonna make it there by three o'clock, so it looks like uh, it'll be first thing Thursday morning, we'll get that put on, take it to the house. It's gonna take a little while to get permits and uh, get, get uh, cleared for crossing the border. So we're gonna take that through the house to the weekend and then um, we'll run it up there to, uh, to Ontario on Monday. My Ontario, where it's going is not very far from Buffalo and my house is pretty close to Buffalo. So works out pretty good for me. Gonna run it right through the house and then we'll take it up there. So other than that, I appreciate you guys watching. If this is your first episode, thanks for tuning in today. If you like what you see, hit that like button. If you wanna see more, consider subscribing to the channel. I appreciate that. Other than that, guys, that's it. That's all we got on this one and we will talk to you guys on the next one. Stay safe, everybody.